So we're celebrating New Year's at mm -hmm. the Double Eagle yes. in Mesilla. It's a very nice restaurant. Yeah, so we're all the way over in New Mexico and we got creme brulee. But this one has whipped cream. I don't think we've ever had it with whipped cream. I don't think so either. Because we've had it here, but they didn't have it with whipped cream before. Oh, and then how come they only bought us one spoon? What are we I supposed to do with one spoon? One oh, spoon. Oh. I don't know. That just means I get to have it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I can smell the key on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Thank definitely. you. Hi. Hi. Okay, so. We got our drinks. And we got our dessert. Yeah, but this has no salt on it. Well, it has some salt on the side. That's like one sip. Oh my gosh. One sip of salt. This is green chili infused alcohol. On yours and mine. Yeah, so it should be kind of spicy. <laughs> it tastes like green chili. It, like every yeah. single sip. It's really cool. <laughs> and we have our dessert, like always before our mm -hmm. food. Yep. Yep. Always get eat first. Dessert. Right? Dessert first. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. You never know. Food might not be good enough. At least you have dessert. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was telling them about our New Year's celebration, I think, when we on the server came up. So we came all the way out to New Mexico and to celebrate New Year's. And they have a little old town here that has like a lot of historic buildings. It's uh, called Old Mesilla. And they have a lot of really cool places around here. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, they do. This we, place was Civil War times, right? It was made or something? I think so, yeah. yeah. Like Civil War times. Yeah. And then, like, um, Billy the Kid stayed here, like, when he would pass through Mexico. And Pancho Villa stayed in the police. Pancho Villa. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it has, like, a really cool road to actually get here, where it's, like, all covered with trees, and it's really nice. Which is very weird in El Paso, okay? Like, everyone's like, oh, a tree is great. Yeah. No, we didn't have oh, trees. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Because people are like, uh, trees, who cares? And we're like, uh, we do, because we've never seen them before. Yeah, we don't have those things. <laughs> those things that are green. Our dinner at the Double Eagle went horrible. Yes. We are not going to talk about that place again. That was... <laughs> you know, which sucks, because it's always so good. I had, like, these sky expectations. <laughs> but the waiter made it bad, and then from there, it just went downhill, and it just got worse, and then it just, like... Yeah, it was... The crab relay, we didn't even eat it, because it was just horrible. It wasn't even good. And then after that, everything just started getting worse, and I ordered a drink, and I asked for, you know, on the rocks with salt rim, and I get it. And it has like no salt, and I was like, oh, I ordered with salt, and he's like, oh yeah, but like it's spilled, and I'm like, okay, then are you gonna do something about it? Like I didn't say that, but I was just like, um, well, I, you know, I wanted salt, and he's, and he didn't want to fix it, and so then I was like, well, could you just like bring me the salt like on the side, like in a little bowl? And he brought me table salt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then I was, I had to ask for an actual glass, a new glass in a room, and he was like, I guess. And then, and then he didn't bring his bread. Yeah, he didn't bring his bread. He didn't bring us any bread. And, and then, uh, he once our food came, he never like came back. Yeah, he didn't come back. And then he didn't bring us. It was just bad, man. It was just bad. Like, I just don't have anything <laughs> to say. And the food was so bad too. It was yeah, bad. it was. Oh, it was so disappointing. <laughs> like, it's it's never bad. It's actually pretty good. And, yeah. So, uh, we're so ending we're, our New Year's night having pie. Yeah, we're at Village Inn having pie. Yeah. Yep. And, and ice cream. It's like the best way to start a new year. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, goats. Clark is meeting his puppies. Come here. Come here, Clark. What do you think, Clark?
Caspian's protecting the puppies from the maid. <laughs> He's protecting them from the cleaning lady because he doesn't like people in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna watch her up here. I don't want. Yeah, Lena's like, I'm tired of those things. Today I'm starting off the puppies on some food. This is going to be their first day eating. So I am using uh, the Nutro uh, puppy food. It has like no uh, corn, no soy, no wheat, really good ingredients. I'm doing this one um, because each puppy is actually going to be getting different food once it goes to its home. Um, but I thought this one would be a good one to start them off with. And then of course they'll be going home with food. Um, when they do uh, go to their new homes, I'll go home with some of this. So it's just a little bit that I'm putting in their bowls right now. And what I'm doing, I'm heating up some water. I just turned it off so it's just finished. I'm going to use the s to put into their food. So I'm going to give them some of the milk replacer in their food. Luna's actually been getting this in her food. So I'm going to mix it into that hot water and then let this soak. I've been saying all the time, do not feed puppies canned food. That's so bad for them. It's so bad for their, their digestive health. It gives them diarrhea. This is how you do it. Dry food, and then I'm going to show you the mixture we're going to put in. So I have a cup and a half of warm water here, and it is one part uh, powder to two parts warm water. So I'm going to dump all this in here. So I put the milk formula and hot water into the bowls and these are going to soak for about 20 minutes and then once they're really soft I will feed them to the puppies. But this is the way to do it. Uh, don't feed puppies canned dog food. This is so much healthier, so much better for their little tummies. This is the puppy's very first meal. But Daisy doesn't seem to care. Daisy's peeing where you're working. We are upgrading them to a new pen. And Jaime is putting the door on it. It's going. Okay, let me. I can head out there today. Your house and talk to her. No, no. I don't really go down. And there. that one's throwing it up already. Sparky's a real corgi right there. <laughs> My corgis are always throwing up something.
He'll be okay. He probably just ate uh, too much food too fast. I had first considered putting my puppies directly on raw once they started eating, uh, but that was before I found out how many puppies we had. So with nine puppies, it was going to be very hard for me to feed them different things. The ones I'm keeping, I will transition to raw once the others go to their new homes. I'll also be helping the new owners transition their puppies to whatever it is that they are going to be feeding. I ordered this playpen before the puppies were born and it seemed perfect for three or four puppies and I really like it, but now I feel like I should have ordered another one. You can put as many as you want together, so that's a nice thing. I might have to do that. And this is the puppy's second meal the following day. They will be four weeks on Thursday, which is when I was going to start feeding them, but they are getting fed a few days earlier because it's obvious that they are ready and I might need more bowls. This time Sparky did not throw up and it's just normal. It's a normal part of learning how to eat for them, so it wasn't such a big deal. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of the response that I've gotten from my video of my first video for 2018, which is why I have a service stock. And I just, uh, I'm still trying to go through all of those comments, but I want to heart like all of the comments that I've gotten and I want to try to reply to a lot of them. I've gotten so many great comments and it's going to be hard to get back to everybody, but I really appreciate how positive everyone was and how everyone um, kind of shared something about themselves and it seems like we have a really great community here so I just want to say how much I appreciated that and I just want you to know that I have read each and every one of your comments even if I haven't been able to get back to you each one means so much to me so thank you the puppies have eaten and now they're all spread out asleep they look so cute and innocent but it's all a lie. These things are little terrors. I was super surprised that they, almost all of them, all of the puppies except for one actually have their ears up already. And it was pretty crazy because at first I was just like, nah, they're just still standing up because their heads are too big for their ears. But no, they're actually like fully up. Like, look at Bruce's ears. The Merle boy is the only one that doesn't have his ears up yet. But all the rest of the puppies actually have straight ears. Which is really cool because they actually usually take longer. Um, but this means that they are getting all of the right nutrients. Like Their ears going up is part of them having enough calcium to build the cartilage in their ears. So it's really cool that they actually um, have their ears up. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.